Emily is with us in Madison, Wisconsin. Hi, Emily. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Super excited. Well, I'm honored. How can I help? Okay, so long story short, I'm very low income. I'm working a plan, going back to school to try and, like, pay my own way. Um, but anyways, I heard about a plan called Habitat for Humanity. And I went to the info session and found out how you get an affordable mortgage through them. Is They actually make you take out two mortgages. One is called a silent mortgage, and as long as you live there, you don't have to pay it back. But to me, that felt kind of like I'd be getting it. I'm, like, a few years away from that point. But, like, I'd be getting into twice as much house debt as would be wise. Mm-hmm. Well, if you don't, if you're not, the Habitat, um, the vast majority of what you owe is you owe nothing on it as long as you live there, as you said. So that doesn't bother me. That that part of the house doesn't bother me. The only part that bothers me is the amount you have to pay. And it sounds like right now you're not in any position to do that, right? Not, not yet. I was thinking for a few years out. Yeah. Well, uh, so what are you studying in school? Medical coding. Okay, and how old are you? 27. Okay, and what have you been doing for a living? Um, let's see, I've spent some time as a student. I've, I was working for the state for a while. Um, I became a single mom three and a half years ago, and so it's been, work has been kind of difficult since then, and my daughter has special needs. So she has 40 hours a week of in-home therapy that I now have to be present for. So my thought is I can go, is going back to school. I'll graduate in a little less than two years, at which time I should be able to get a job right away. And but you, how are you going to get a job if you've got to be at home 40 hours a week? Well, at that point, she'll be in kindergarten, and so then she'll be getting all her therapy through the school. And so while she's in school, I could go to work. Mm. But in the interim, I have to be home. And I don't want to be at home doing nothing. I want to be moving my life forward. So mm-hmm. medical yeah. Okay, medical you, you do not need to think about a Habitat house. You don't need to think about okay. a house. You need to rent as cheaply as you can or stay somewhere with family free until you get through this storm that you're in, which is finishing yeah. school and being available for her. Um, and yeah. the, only thing, the only thing that is available to you is while you're doing school and while you're doing the therapies at home, as you said, you have to be there. Uh, but yeah. maybe there's a side hustle you can develop to do something from home. Can you do the, co- okay. can you do the coding at home? Yes, that's, um, I'm, yeah, that's an option. So why will it take you two years to finish that? Well, I have to get through all the schoolwork first. I have to graduate. I have to get the credentials, and then I can start the medical coding. The schoolwork. Your GED? No, I doesn't require a four-year degree. To, it doesn't require a four-year degree to be medically co- to do medical coding. I know it's less than two years of, of college. So, like, I they require do, two years of college to do medical coding. Um, it it can be condensed into ten months, but I was planning on doing it as, on a part time staff because my learning disabilities, so that I can like get through it. Oh, you have, you have a learning disability. I do as well. Yes, okay. school work usually takes me at least twice as long as the average person. Okay, well, that makes more sense than two and a half years to do medical coding, which usually does take less than a year. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Then you've got you've got a game plan, but let's just take the yeah. house off the table and not worry okay. about that. Let's work worry about your okay. your your child and your career track for now, and then okay. um, once you get the career going and you get her into kindergarten, then we can start talking about next steps towards being debt free, building an emergency fund, towards yeah. you know buying a home at that point, and maybe then Habitat comes into play. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you just save up your money and buy a house. That may be what you're able to do if you can make enough coding. And um, uh, and if you can get where you can do something from home while you're doing this schooling and not delay your degree, not deg- not delay your certification, then um, I would. If you could if you find anything that you can do from home to earn some extra money, a side hustle. Uh, and that kind of a thing will help you. So, hey, good luck with it. If I can help you further, you call me anytime. Sounds like you got your plate full, kiddo.